Hi, we're here at the quarry at North Table Mountain, Golden, Colorado, getting ready to do a full-bodied Pilates-inspired workout with the Pilates Mini Max. This workout is going to get you stronger in your arms, your legs, your core, and improve your posture. Because this workout is part of the Pilates Mini Max Osteoporosis Series, special modifications have been built into the workout to avoid forward bending or flexion. Because medical research researchers have shown that if you do this type of exercise, it can actually increase the risk of developing a compression fracture if you have osteoporosis. So during this workout, we're going to go from the easiest modification to the hardest modification. It's up to you to figure out which modification works best for you. Keep in mind that exercise should never increase pain, so if you have pain, please stop and seek medical attention. And then to maximize the workout, make sure you understand some basic Pilates concepts, which are gone over in a separate video on this YouTube channel. Those concepts are breathing to activate deep core, posture and spine position. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. So let's take your Pilates Mini Max over to the chair. You're going to have a seat and make sure that you're not taking any support from the chair. We're also going to do some hinging back, so make sure that you have some space to move into. We're going to be using the straps with the handle, so let's pull those out now. You're going to hold on to those handles and the edges of the Pilates Mini Max. You're going to allow that tip to come down and keep your spine straight and just allow the Mini Max to fall to the ground. Place one foot up on the Mini Max and just push it away from you. Make sure that you've got good contact through your feet because you're going to hold the Pilates Mini Max still with your foot pressure. We're going to start off with bicep curls. So you're sitting up nice and tall. Inhale through your nose, expand your ribs. Exhale, engage through the core as you bicep curl. Exhale and curl. Now if you want to make this harder, lift your arms and maintain the lift as you curl. That's it. Inhale and exhale. Keep your collarbones open and wide. Chest nice and open. Reaching from your pelvis through your spine and out through the top of your head. If you want to make it even harder, go ahead and raise those arms to shoulder height. Maintain that parallel lift as you bicep curl. Just make sure it's not causing tension in your neck and shoulders. That's it. Stay tall. Exhale and inhale. Curl with the exhale. Inhale, release. That's it. Nice. Two more. Excellent. So now we're going to go to the arm swing. So quick arm movements. That's going to wake up your core just from the quick movement. That's it. Think about your posture. Try to reach tall from your hips through the top of your head. Stomach gently drawn in. Work those arms fast. That's going to get that circulation going also a little bit faster. You got it. Okay, so let's make sure you have some space to hinge back into because we're going to do that bicep curl and add the hinge to get some more core work. So grounded through those feet, inhale through your nose, expand your ribs, exhale as you hinge back to the chair seat, inhale as you return, exhale, hinge back, inhale as you return, exhale, straight spine as you hinge back, inhale as you return. Your gaze goes up on the horizon as you hinge back and then straight forward as you return. Stomach is in. You get what you train, so work it flat. Nice work. All right, you can keep up with just hinging back or let's work your endurance by hinging back and holding as you go ahead and bicep curl. Reach from your pelvis through your spine out the top of your head. Good work. Nice. Two more. Try not to rest on the chair back if you can. And last one. Excellent. Back to rapid arm swings. That's it. Swing those arms nice and tall. Pull that stomach in. Work for the tallest you that you can be. Quick arm movements. Big arm movements. Work those arms. Get that circulation going. Nice and tall. Excellent. So now we're going to work those legs with some sit to stand. So we're going to keep our spine straight as we lay those bands up on the Pilates Mini Max. You might want to scooch back a little bit. Place your hands on your thighs. 
push through those hands as you stand up strong. Place your hands on those thighs as you ease down. That's it. Almost like you don't know if that chair will hold your weight. And again, push up nice and strong and ease down. Now if you don't need to use your hands, don't. So just go ahead and stand up. Reach those arms up. Circle as you come down. Nice. Inhale. Stretch your arms up. Circle out. Ease down. Let's keep it going. Work those thighs. Stretch up. Circle. Ease down. Make sure that you're strong on the way up and all about control on the way down. Nice. Let's do two more. Push up and circle. Control. Last one. Stand up. Stretch and circle. Nice. So now we're going to go ahead and reach for our bands. Place the one foot on. Once again, make sure that you're somewhat forward. We're going to do shoulder blade pulls. So your handles are a little bit more vertical. You're sitting up tall. Inhale through your nose. Exhale as you press back. Inhale as you return. Feel the strength go from one arm across your mid back to the other arm. Very important to be strong in that mid back. That's it. Push those arms out. Inhale, return. Stay tall through your posture. Keep your ribs aligned over your pelvis. There can be a tendency to pop those ribs forward. We want to keep those ribs stacked over our pelvis. Watch that you're not raising those shoulders with tension. Keep those shoulders away from your ears. Excellent. Back to arm swing. So rapid arm movements. Get that circulation going. You got it. Stomach is drawn in. You're working for a tall posture. Feel how that activates your deep core. That's it. Just quick movements. Try to go a little bit faster. That's it. Keep grounded through your feet. That's it. Just a little bit longer, a little faster. And stop. So now we're going to add the hinge. So make sure you have some space to hinge back into. Arms are out to your side. Exhale as you hinge. Inhale as you come back on top. Exhale, hinge back towards that chair. Inhale as you return. Try not to rest on the chair, but take support if you need it. Stomach draws together as you exhale and hinge. Nice. Inhale, return. Exhale, hinge. Inhale, return. Once again, work that stomach flat. You get what you train. Work it flat. That's it. Send it out and return one more time. Nice. Let's go ahead and lay those bands down on the Pilates Mini Max, making sure you keep your spine straight. We're going to do another set of sit to stands. Scooch back a little bit. Hands on your thighs if you need that support. Push through those hands and ease down. And let's do that again. Push through those hands. Control your weight down. Keep doing that. Um, and then we're going to add a modification to make things harder. We're going to come down and hover. That's it. Press firmly through your feet, spine straight. Hold that position. Reach your head away from your tail. Keep holding. That's it. And then ease down. Great. Let's do that again. Stand up strong. We're going to try to hover a little bit lower. So come down low. That's it. You look like a downhill ski star. That's it. Hold that position. Firm pressure through those legs. Legs strong. That's it. Keep holding. Reach your head away from your tail. Long spine. And ease down. Let's do it again. Stand up strong. Come down to your hover position. Strong legs. Reach your head away from your tail. Stomach in. That's it. Hold that position. Get stronger in those legs. That's it. Keep holding. That's it. Keep holding. That's it. And sit down. Let's do it again. Stand up strong. Come down to your hover position. Maybe not as low as what I'm doing. But firm pressure through your feet, strong legs, straight spine, reach your head away from your tail, no tension in your neck and shoulders, working from those thighs, hold, and then release down. 
All right, last exercise is going to be a chest opener stretch. We're going to need to stand up to do that. You're going to interlace your hands behind your back and you're going to press those arms down. That's it, squeeze your elbows together and if you're able to lift your chest in your gaze, getting a little backward bending in your spine. Take a nice big inhale, exhale, let the air go. Nice. Well, that's it. I hope you had a good workout. Once again, this is a great workout to do again, especially if you have a problem with getting down on the floor. Super. Have a great day.